Hi, my name is Jeff Wilkie. I'm the Senior Vice President of the Consumer Business at Amazon.com. I've been associated with LGO since 1993, when it was the Leadership Manufacturing Program, and I was a graduate. For the last five years, I've been on the Governing Board, and for the last three, I've been the Governing Board's Co-Chairman. LGO gave me a great playbook for how to run an operation. I've had the good fortune to spend the last 20 years applying this playbook, six at, M six at Honeywell, the last 14 at Amazon.com. Though there are many pages to the playbook, there are four that really stand out for me. The first, plant managers matter. LGO taught me to treasure the leaders who run our operations. The most valuable of such leaders can lead a deep dive into a metrics of the facility and then pivot around and talk to an hourly person in a completely authentic way. Second, constraint management. How to characterize and relieve the profit bottlenecks to our processes and our businesses. Third, quality tools. The underlying mathematics of statistical process control proved incredibly valuable when we were setting up Six Sigma at Honeywell and throughout my career as we've applied lean principles uh, for 20 years. And then supply chain is the fourth. Supply chain is a great place to apply the mathematics of optimization, OR, and of process control. At Amazon, we've built all of our software ourselves, so we've been able to lean heavily on the LFM curriculum and playbook in that implementation. At Amazon, we try to measure both our business outputs and the inputs that drive them. Our leadership principles include dive deep and long-term ownership. We ask leaders to use objective data to characterize our performance and to consider long-term impact and trajectories when making changes or inventing something new. The dozens of LGOs Amazon has hired over the years have led ACES teams. ACES is our version of Six Sigma and Lean using data to reduce variation and eliminate waste. They lead our strategic sales and operations planning process, where we plan our capacity for the next 18 months. They've led fulfillment centers, where we expect them to be role models in diving deep using metrics, analytics, and great leadership. They've owned worldwide supply chain, European transportation, fulfillment by Amazon, and worldwide operations. They've made huge contributions to our company. Because LGO is at MIT, there are all kinds of pioneering aspects in and around it. Two that are unique to LGO are the master's in engineering requirement and the six-month internship. LGO really pioneered the dual degree program in operations. What remains unique, I think, is LGO's commitment and MIT's commitment to technical rigor in the program. Requiring an MIT engineering master's degree is the insurance that this commitment will continue. The six-month internship has been very valuable for Amazon and it provides students a unique opportunity to test their new leadership skills in a real-world environment much more intensely than a summer internship. As manufacturing operations have moved offshore over the last 20 years, the available pool of talent in the U.S. with deeply analytical understanding of operations has shrunk. Finally, this outsourcing offshoring trend has begun to reverse and partner companies are considering moving operations back to the U.S and growing existing operations. The chatter among my governing board colleagues has moved from what's the role of operations in my company to how can I hire as many LGOs as possible and take advantage of the LGO playbook they'll bring to my company.